In this problem, we're being given a graph of a function, f of x, and we're being asked to graph y equals f of negative x. And what that is, is actually a reflection across one of the axes. Uh, the things you should be looking for in problems like this, uh, when they ask you to graph y equals negative f of x, that is a reflection across the x-axis. So whatever is on top would go on bottom, whatever is on the bottom would go on the top. If they're asking you, like they are in this problem, to graph y equals f of negative x, that's a reflection over the y-axis. So left goes to right, right goes to left. So what's the best way to do that? My strategy is to take the endpoints of segments and reflect those. So let's just start with this point right here. This is the point negative 4, 5. And when you reflect something across the y-axis, the y-coordinate stays the same and the x-coordinate just gets its sign changed. So if this is negative 4, 5, the reflection of this is going to be 4, 5. So that would go right there. And then the other point where the segment ends is actually on the y-axis. And that's nice because we don't actually have to do anything with that. So we can just draw a line from here to here. So this bit is this part reflected. Now let's work on this bigger chunk. Um, so let's start with this point. This is the point 7, 3. So we just go out to negative 7, 3 and mark that. And then let's get this point. So that's the point 4, 6. So we go to negative 4, 6. So we can connect those now. And then, well, this last point is on the y-axis. We don't have to do anything with that. Just draw the line. And there we go. So this, this, this is this function reflected. So that's a little bit of work with uh, reflecting functions across one of the axes.